Recently, I engaged VS Code and Kenza for Z, and honestly, I am never going back. Hey, it's Akosi here. I was a diehard VS Code fan, and recently, I switched over to Kenza. I was a diehard Kenza fan too. I loved the AI features, but there was a massive problem. You see, when I had five mono repo projects open, right, my RAM vanished. My fans were screaming and my system was crawling. So this November, I gave Z a new shot. Yes, I have tried Z a long time before, but that time Z was, was not quite good as it is now. Now, Z is a completely different new beast. Today, you are going to see why I switched from Vineyard School or Keza and went on to Z and why probably I'll never go back again. The first part is the performance of Z. When you first start up Z, the first thing that you notice is its speed. It's instantaneous. In Vineyard School, you know that feeling, right? Probably you have a big project, you open it and you have to wait. You wait for the plugins, in my case, 117 extensions to load. You wait for the language server protocol to load. Then you're going to also wait for the TS config to load before you can actually start doing some real work. In Z, my total extensions are around 8 extensions, right? So it really starts up really fast. In VS Code, I'm running, as I said earlier, 117 extensions. Things like Copilot Chat shoot through my RAM because they are constantly processing contests in real time. In Z, I have only eight running extensions. Even if I had support for Go, Rust, and probably Java, I'll probably just hit around 20 extensions or so. The difference between Z and VS Code is a night and day when it comes to raw speed. The second thing that makes me love Z is basically the architecture of the application. VS Code, Keza, Google Anti-Gravity, they are all Electron applications, meaning they are glorified Chrome wrappers, disguised as a code editor. But with Z, it is a native Rust application. When you take, for instance, VS Code or Keza or Google's Anti-Gravity, they use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to render text on the screen for you. 